We're all living right now. Of course, we're alive. And we would not live forever, right? Definitely we would not. We will die eventually. We will. I will die eventually. You will. The best of men will die. The worst of men will die. Kingmakers, queens, princes, kings, every president will die. At the end of the day, when you die, this body will decay. Your spirit man will live. Whether you're a Christian or not, your spirit man will not die. When you die, the body decays. The spirit appears somewhere. Appears in front of the judge. Your spirit, every spirit, whether you're a Christian or not, your spirit will appear in front of the judge because the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. And after death, judgment. Our spirit will appear in front of the judge. I, as a Christian, will have my advocate. The advocate is Jesus. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Jesus Christ is the son of the judge. So, when the books are opened, when my name comes or they see my name in the book, and then say, oh, at a certain point in time, you did this and did this, did this. This is an offense that can take someone to hell. So, uh, what do you say? I will be mute. I have nothing to say. I will call on my advocate, Jesus Christ. He will stand in for me, face his father, God Almighty, who is the judge, and say, yes, at such and such time, he fell short, but the glory came, the, the, he fell short of the, of the glory, but he repented and then accepted me and then he will speak to his father in the language that they understand. At the end of the day, I will be discharged and acquitted. I will be ushered into heaven. That's for me. That's for me. And now for you, who will be your advocate? For every true, genuine Christian, genuine believer out there, Jesus Christ would be your advocate when you die, eventually, because you will at the end of the day. Who will be your advocate? If Jesus Christ is not in your picture right now, or if he was, but you think you've gone distance, you've distanced yourself from him, realign with him because you will need an advocate. We already know who the judge is. We already know who the judge is. It is now left for you to make Jesus Christ your advocate or not. It is a choice only you have to make. It's a choice that affects just you, you alone, nobody. So you can decide to not choose him. He still will not affect Jesus. But you can decide this moment and say, you know what? I can't, I can't even stand if they ask you to come and stand before the president of America or stand before the president of this nation. You would, you, you would, you would shiver. Not to talk of the judge himself, the maker of the heavens and the earth, the one who sits in heaven and the earth is his, is his footstool. <laughs> think, think a word they say is enough for the wise. 